Today in Rift Spirits and Gear, we upgrade the cheapest guitar on Amazon. Back in November of last year, I did a video about the cheapest guitar on Amazon. And for $75, I purchased this guitar, this Viper by BG Guitars off of Amazon.com. And overall, I was impressed with how much guitar I got for $75. And you guys have continually asked me to see how much better of a guitar it could become if I upgraded a few things. So that is what we are going to do today. Now, there are two main things that we're going to upgrade. There are only two things that I feel that need to be upgraded. And they're more of a functionality thing versus some kind of aesthetic thing that doesn't really need to be done. The first thing are the tuning machines. The tuning machines, are not really stable and they're they're kind of junk if I'm being honest. But the most important thing that needs to be upgraded or addressed really with this guitar is the setup. And the saddles on the bridge are just about as low as they can go and the action is still very high. And this is because the pocket that is routed in the body is crooked, meaning the guitar's neck actually goes upward at a very slight angle, making the action of the guitar very, very poor. It's very, very high down here, the, the further you get down the neck. And we can solve this very easily. So for the cost of $30 off of Amazon, I ordered three wooden neck shims from Stu Mac. And while I was at it, I also bought a set of Goto locking tuners. Now I bought the Goto specifically because that is the style of the stock tuner and the mounting holes are a drop-in replacement. So it should just be an unbolt, throw away the old ones, and bolt up the new ones, and off we go. So the total cost of these parts is $100. Well, technically it's like $102.50, but we're gonna round down, and we're gonna say this is $100 in parts for a $75 guitar. Now, I do not need to upgrade the pickup. I actually like the sound of this guitar, and I don't feel the need to upgrade this pickup, although I do have a Seymour Duncan Custom 5 in the back that I could put in, but I'm not going to. I'm not going to do anything else but install the neck shims and change out the guitar tuning machines. Let's get to it. Now, when you are shimming a bolt-on neck, uh, you are dealing in degrees. So with this set, it came with a quarter of a degree, came with half a degree, and it came with one degree. Now that may not sound like a lot, but it's a lot. One degree is quite a bit of additional tilt to add for a bolt on neck. I am not really sure which one to use. Considering that it's actually going the other way, I'm probably going to start with the half a degree right in the middle and see where we land after we bolt the neck back up with it. All you do with a neck shim is make sure it's going the right direction, meaning this end is thicker than this end, which is going to tilt the neck this way, which is what we want. So I'm going to make sure it fits, and it does. And we simply put the neck back on and bolt it up. Now that I have the neck bolted back on, I can see a very, very slight tilt with the neck, which is okay. I mean, Gibson Les Pauls are tilted quite a bit, although this wasn't intended to tilt at all. It's ideally supposed to be flat, but I think we're okay. That half a degree made a huge difference, which means when I put the strings back on, the saddles will still be low and the strings will probably lay on the neck itself since it's tilted up and we will obviously have to do a complete setup to the guitar, but for now, we're gonna move on to the tuning keys. Okay, so just as I suspected, the strings are touching the end of the neck, meaning the saddles are still too low from the old setup when the neck was a little wonky. 
So I'm just going to go through the normal setup and adjust the string height, check the neck relief, et cetera, et cetera, and see just where we're at with this neck shim. All right, so I have the guitar tuned up. I have everything set up, the action right where I wanted it. Um, on the action, I have about 40 thousandths from the top of the fret to the bottom of each string, and that is in resting position. So about 40 thousandths. I don't know what the normal spec is for like fenders or something like that. I just did it by feel. That feels pretty good. It sounds pretty good. And the last thing I need to do is adjust the pickup height. And then uh, we're gonna plug this thing in and see how it sounds. So what have we learned? We have learned that even though you do get what you pay for. If you put just a little bit more money in it, sometimes you can get a whole lot of awesome. I bought this guitar for $75 off of Amazon. I put another $100 into it, and this is a great guitar now. Shim the neck, change the tuners, a simple setup went a long way, and I'm really happy with how this guitar has turned out and how it sounds. And yeah, it'll, uh, it'll be kicking around here for years to come, I am sure. All the pickable links down below in the description. You've been wonderful. I've been Fluff. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.